Today you will learn how to make array in Adobe Illustrator. Welcome to Easy Guide YouTube channel. For example, you have a shape like this in Adobe Illustrator and you want to create a linear array in Illustrator. If you grab the selection tool and select the shape, you can see the cursor duplicates when I press Alt key and hover over this shape. While pressing Alt key, if I drag this shape, it will create a duplicate of original shape. While pressing Alt key, if I also press the Shift key, then I can duplicate the shape in linear position. I can only move the shape in horizontal line, vertical line and 45 angle. These purple colored guides lines are helping me to place the shape. You can see the intersect text these shapes are connecting at this point. If I release the mouse click, the duplicated shape will be placed there. Go to view and make sure the smart guides option is on. Now simply press Ctrl D and Illustrator will repeat the last step. If you want to repeat this step in vertical, simply select all, press Alt and Shift key and drag the shapes until you get the intersect text. Release the click. Now simply press Ctrl D again and again. Let me delete all these. You can also create a radial array in Illustrator. Simply select Rotate tool. This is the center point as well as rotating point of this shape. Select and drag this point in vertical line. Now press Alt key and drag the shape. The shape will automatically rotate around this center point. Release the mouse click and simply press Ctrl D. But there is an issue of spacing between these shapes. So let me give you best method to make a radial array. First of all draw a circle by pressing Shift key. Let me remove the fill color and add a little bit of stroke. Now select both shapes and align these horizontally center. Let me place the star shape near the circle. It is not necessary but you can do this if you want to. Now select the rotate tool, press and hold the alt key and left click on this center point. Rotate box will appear. In this angle box you can rotate the shape in any angle. Just use the mouse wheel to get your desired angle. Another very important trick you must know is there is total 360 angles. So enter 360 then divider sign and then enter the number of copies. Click copy. Another copy will appear. Now simply press Ctrl D again and again. Now you can see all the shapes have equal spacing. The third method is mostly used by professionals to create an array. Select the shape. Go to distort and transform. Select transform. This is the transform effect box. Enter the number of copies you want. Now these 10 star shapes copies are behind this star shape. You can move these copies horizontally at specific distance. If there is negative value, the shapes will move the left side horizontally. You can also move them vertically and horizontally at the same time. If you want your copies should scale down as the shapes move further, Simply decrease the values. You can see the shapes are getting smaller as these shapes move. You can also scale up the copies simply increase the value in scale box. Try to maintain the same value in horizontal and vertical box to maintain the proportion. You can also rotate the copies at specific angle. Let me decrease the copies so that you can clearly see the shapes. So you can see the shapes are moving at specific angle. You can play around this box to get some amazing effects. I will definitely try to upload the tutorials to create different kinds of designs using this transform effect box. So please subscribe the channel. I hope you have learned how to make array in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting design tutorial. If you have any question or need further assistance, 
feel free to leave a comment below and I will be happy to help. Also tell me in the comments below which Adobe Illustrator tutorial you want next. See you in the next video.